particular date, right, uh, in a particular year, and that year is, for a variety of reasons, we can talk about 1776. Anybody know what happened in 1776? Three things happened in 1776. One of which you know, and the others two you have no clue. What is the one thing you know? What happened in 1776? The Declaration of Independence of the United States was written. Now, why do, why do we care? You live in Singapore, why do you care about the Declaration of Independence of the United States? What relevance does that have? It has huge relevance. Because the Declaration of Independence represents a set of ideas that have made us rich. Without the ideas articulated in the Declaration of Independence, we are still 250 years ago dirt poor. What are the ideas that the Declaration of Independence articulates? The idea that as an individual you have an inalienable right. Inalienable means what? means nobody can take it away from you. It's part of who you are. Not even a majority. Not even by voting. It cannot be taken away from you. And you have a right to what? To your life. To your liberty. To your pursuit of happiness. The Declaration of Independence is a declaration of the individual's right to his life. It's a declaration that the individual has a right to the free, to be free. To be free of coercion, free of authority, free of people telling him what he can and cannot do. Free to live his life as he sees fit in pursuit of the rational values he needs in order to live. And it's that freedom that the Declaration of Independence articulates which is what made us rich. That same year, a famous book was written. Not written, published. Anybody know what a book was published in 1776? Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. Not an accident that the theory around economic freedom, the theory around capitalism is coming out at the same time as people articulating the ideas of individual liberty and individual freedom. Because the two go together. Capitalism is the system of individual liberty and individual freedom. It's the system in which individuals are left free to live their lives as they see fit, to pursue their values, to pursue their own happiness. The third thing that happens in 1776 is consistent with both of those. The steam engine, which had been discovered many years earlier, really way back, the steam engine is first commercialized. It's first commercialized in 1776. So now somebody, using his own judgment, using his own mind, not asking for permission in terms of starting a company and innovating and building something, but just doing it, starts a company using the steam engine to produce stuff. And that sets off the Industrial Revolution, and it sets off the complete change in the world in which we live. For the first time, for the first time, when people are asked, who does your life belong to, they don't answer, well, what did people answer in the past? Who does your life belong to? The king. What's that? The king. Right? That's one answer. What else? <laughs> it's like belongs to his wife, but you know, some some people have those kind of relationships. <laughs> okay. um, who does your life belong to? God. It's talking to God, right? God dictates what you do, tells you to kill your eldest son. Cool, I'm gonna do it right away. Yes, sir. Right? Your life belongs to him. He gets to tell you what to do. Who else does your life belong to? What's that? General of the army. Uh, the general, the leader, the, the, the tribe, the community, the group, the, somebody. Your life belongs to somebody. And you're just waiting for orders. The proletarian. Maybe your life belongs to the proletarian if you're a good Marxist. Okay? If you're a good Nazi, your life belongs to the Aryan race. To the leader who dictates what it's going to be. Historically, your life as an individual never belonged to you. It belonged to the tribe, the group, the state, the king, God. 
1776 declared, no, my life is mine. My life is mine for the first time in human history. And the consequence of that have been astounding. The consequence of that are the skyscrapers in Singapore. The consequence of that is all the wealth that surrounds you here and globally all over the world. It is individual human freedom. It is our willingness to stand up and declare that our life belongs to us as individuals that has changed the world in such a dramatic, heroic fashion. Your life is yours to live as you see fit. That idea is what generated the wealth and the prosperity that we see all around.